Okay, so during the gold rush of 1898, a dance hall girl became so famous that miners showered her with gold dust and gold nuggets. That woman was nicknamed Klondike Kate, and now for the past 45 years, a new Kate has been crowned in St. Paul every year. There she is, St. Paul's Teresa McConnell, crowned the mistress of fun at Prom Center in Oakdale last night. She joins us live in studio this morning. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, watching that moment, watching you get, uh, yeah. <laughs> get the title, what was going through your mind when that happened? I was just like, wow, I can't believe this. I've tried four times, and, you know, it was like a dream come true for me. It was very exciting. So what did being Klondike Kate mean to you? What is that? Well, it means you're just a mistress of fun and frivolity, mm -hmm. and you get to be out there uh, in the limelight, it, so to speak, for the Winter Carnival. You get to be an ambassador for the Winter Carnival and promote the city of St. Paul and just be welcoming and friendly to everybody you meet. But you said that once you're a Kate, you're a Kate for life. Yes, yes. A lot of the Kates, when you win the Klondike Kate contest, you uh, make a five-year commitment to the organization, and the Klondike Kates get together, and they have Kates from years and years ago go back and they visit nursing homes and hospitals and fundraisers and besides the winter carnival they're active all year long. Now the other two finalists that we saw there you yes. hate those women right? No I love Huge those rivalry. women. <laughs> Give us yeah. the dirt. Do you yeah. have any dirt yeah. on those other two? Because no, they've been no. giving us dirt on you. It, oh they did? <laughs> well what did they say? No I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no actually they're all really fun women. Actually it takes, I think it takes a certain personality to be a Klondike Kate and they're kind of a lot of characters. Well you're a social worker right correct and you've mm -hmm. spent years doing community theater yes. so this is right up your alley right love yeah. it is there an aspect of this you're most looking forward to I mean you've been trying to do this for four years you, yes you get it this year what's going to be the kind of that crowning moment for you that crowning moment was getting this sash over yeah. my head. Yeah. <laughs> that was literally the crown. Last yes. night. Right. Yes. Because three other years, I would, you know, it was somebody next to me over here or over there. And I'd go home and I'd just be so disappointed. And I'm like, all right, I'm going back. I'm going to do it for another year. I'm going to give it a shot. And persistence well, pays off. Yeah, it says yeah. a lot about your love for the Winter Carnival, yes, too, that I you love keep the at it. Yeah. After seeing the Miss Universe fiasco, where they oh, put yeah. the sash on the oh. wrong person and then switched it, did you have any concern when you got the sash, <laughs> first of all, right. that, that Miss Philippines was going to come out <laughs> and steal your Klondike Kate sash? No, because I was hanging on to this okay. baby. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Harvey was not running the <laughs> show for you, yeah. so thank goodness That's there. True. So That's Winter true. Carnival, part of that comes up in about two weeks. Yes, it starts two weeks from today. And the fun for you is yes. obviously you get you do so many appearances out yes. at the carnival, right? Yes, yeah. There's the Arctic Sizzle, which the Klondike Kates do, and then they do a cabaret. And they're out and about at all of the carnival events. So we're singing all the time. And we're very obviously very noticeable. You can tell by the boas, <laughs> the costumes, which are very fun. What do you think did it for you? Why do you think they picked you to be Klondike Kate? Um, I did uh, the last two years, I did a song about St. Paul. Uh, um, you wrote the song yourself? No, but I did, oh, but it, it's from Paul's a local song. person who okay. wrote it. And, um, and I think that really, uh, people like that when they, you know, you're singing about their hometown. And then uh, last night, one of the songs that I did was a song written in 1898 called The Bell of the Klondike, which was about a widow who struck it rich and uh, gained a lot of attention from that. Very nice. Well, you, you hit it. Right. You hit it, and here yeah. you are. And yeah. you were crowned late last night. And yeah. how much sleep did you get? I got about two hours yeah. of sleep. That's, <laughs> you look like a million dollars. Yeah. You look yeah. fantastic. <laughs> I never would have guessed. You. Well, congratulations. Thank we're so you. excited Thank for you. Thank you very here. much. And come to the carnival. Absolutely. Make sure you come to St. Paul. Very, see, that's why she got the, got the crown. That's yeah. right. That's right. You got the plug in. That's perfect. <laughs>